And so you only manage your own money, right? You're not looking or, or bringing in other people's capital into the family at this point. So we have sort of a, a loose syndicate of other families that uh, we show investments to. So this morning I had an all hands with about five offices. Mm. Uh, we have a uh, really intriguing offer, um, two prong offer. Uh, to join a syndicate forming an MLD, MLB expansion team. And we have, yep. And we have a Hollywood studio deal that is available to us now. And before we form the office, these deals never found us. Yeah. Right. But because we've consolidated assets and said, instead of buying somebody university education and somebody gets a Range Rover and somebody gets a pool and then that money is gone, we've held that corpus back consolidated it and then brought in other families around our size to come in and take down some of those offers together. Yeah. And then you get better offers, you get better, you know, returns over time, that sort of thing. So, so whereas we used to be W2 guys doing fix and flips and those kinds of things, we just leveraged and rolled that. There's nothing wrong with starting there. That's where we started, but it gets to a place where if you consolidate it and have this generational mentality then you can really get into some interesting and hopefully very high returns. So I'm going to kind of take a little diversion here. How, how does one get involved or get access to an MLB expansion opportunity? That's just too unique for me to not just touch on for a few minutes. <laughs> so, you know, those things are always done, you know, like when you see it in the newspaper, it's it's too late to invest, right? Well, right. Like yeah. you, you see, as, oh, that's a done deal. But how did that deal get put together? Well, it's a network of people that you know that that know each other. They've that have done some deals together on the smaller side. We didn't pick up the phone and call every family office we've ever seen or worked with. We picked up the phone and called the five that we've worked with that have gone to work when we put money to work. That didn't just sit back and wait. They put their networks in play. They've done that sort of thing. And so when the organizer of this specific team expansion said, Hey, I think I've got a shot at making it. We want to put a, a team together. You know, five of us called five other people. And so we've mm. got, we got about 60 potential investors to raise $300 million from. Some of them are very, very large offices. We are not, but some of them yeah. are. And so that's how that sort of stuff comes together. It's in, and, and, and think about it. It's no other investing circle, right? right? A guy that you partner with on on hard money, for example, might bring you into another deal and say, hey, I love what you did there. I can't do this. Can you do it? Those kinds of conversations always happen, but it's always built on trust and it's always built on a, a commitment of I'm here to make my partner's money. I'm going to earn from that, but I'm here to make yeah. my partner's money.